Hey everyone, so it's Kyle here, and basically I'm just making this video a standalone video apart from my 2JZ Aristo engine build series. Uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to check out the rest of this project. But I thought I would make this really quick one to two minute video to show you guys out there with either a 2JZ N96, this is the 2JZ GTE, but really any other overhead uh, valve engine. Um, this should work for so basically I redid some of the valves and stuff So I'm just putting these springs and retainers back in now so as usual I have the valve sticking up out of the hole and You put the spring in and then you have the very little keepers So of course making sure they're the right way up Well, what I like to do is just place them Right kind of where they're supposed to go. I'll give you guys a close-up in one second um, it's kind of hard with these rubber gloves because they're so baggy. So I like to make them approximately in the correct spot, which you can see right there. So you got the spring, the valves, the dot in the center, then there's two little retainers. Now I'm going to put my camera back here and show you the kind of conventional way to do it that I don't find works too well. Hopefully you can see from where that camera is. So I have a little tool here. It's a valve tool and I have the it's the same tool for removing the keepers and putting them back on. So if this works the first time, I will be blown away myself. But basically, you're supposed to put it on the spring, compress the spring, and just hope and pray with all your might that the keepers fall in place. So if it didn't work the first time, I'll show you guys three attempts, and I guarantee it won't work. So there's a good example of what might happen. It's close, so I might try this one again. Basically, the, the keeper is sticking up rather than seating in. I'll try one more time, but... Uh, yep, so there is exactly what usually happens. I knew it would because it happens every other time. Basically, if you can see on that one spring right there, the one keeper went into place. Sorry, it's so blurry. The one keeper went into place and the other keeper is just like sitting upside down just on top right here. So here's a little trick that I've come up with that helps most times. Now to get that one keeper out you just gotta use your tool and bang down on it. So there you go. Now I'm gonna set up just as before. Put my keeper is in the right way all lined up. Now the key is here. Basically this tool is just a hollow piece so that you can push down the spring without pushing on the valve. But what I have here is a dowel, metal dowel that fits exactly in the hole. And that's what we're going to use for our trick. So basically how this works is all you're going to do is you're going to put your dowel inside this tool. So when it's upside down, as you can see, it constantly pushes on the keepers to prevent them from getting all straggly. But uh, it still does move to prevent it from pushing on the valve. So here I'm going to go in again, rest the dowel on the keepers, give it a try. Look at that. I won't even take the camera, pause the camera. I'll bring it over here. And hopefully you can see that, even though I'm making a nice big shadow. You can see that right there. There's the two keepers on the valve, on the spring, just because I added that one 10 millimeter dowel inside my tool. So there's the quick little tip. Unfortunately for a 2JZ, I gotta do that 20, 23 more times. And then I can put it back on the motor. Like I said, if you are new to the channel and just came here for the DIY, go give a subscribe so you can see the 2JZ GS300 build and the V8 LS400 and a few more cool cars. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.